Anya from Cooking with Plants and today I'm making savoury oatmeal so let's get started. For this recipe you're going to need a pot or a pan. I'm mainly using a pan today just for demonstration purposes so you can actually see what I'm doing and all I'm going to add in is one cup of instant oats. This is all being added to a cold pan just to start with. I'm also adding in two cups of vegetable stock or you could also use two cups of water. Also going in is one cup of plant-based milk. So today I'm using soy milk, but you could use unsweetened almond milk or some rice milk would be really nice, or even some oat milk. Next I'm adding in one fourth of a cup of nutritional yeast. So this is totally optional. If you don't have any on hand, just leave it out. But I do like to add this because it does contain B12. So check the brand that you have or that you're about to buy and make sure that it has some B12 added to it. So next I'm adding in two teaspoons of mixed Italian herbs and one teaspoon of chili flakes. Again, just adjust the chili flakes to your own taste. If you don't like heat, leave them out or if you like it extra hot, add some more, totally up to you. Also going into this mixture is one teaspoon of onion flakes, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric and half a teaspoon of white pepper. So again with the pepper, if you don't like it too hot, just start with less and you can also always add more at the end. So just add the seasonings to taste. So now that this is all in the pan, I'm going to turn the heat on to hot and bring it to a slight boil and then I'll turn it down to a low simmer and cook it up like you would a normal porridge, but it'll just have a savoury twist. So remember my recipes are in metric, but you can go to my website at cookingwithplants.com and print out all of my recipes and convert them to imperial as well so it makes it nice and easy for you. And just keep stirring this mixture until it reaches the consistency that you like and then you can add any toppings that you like. If you wanted to you could even mix some extra things through so if you prefer things like spinach being cooked rather than a bit more of a raw taste then by all means put them in now or um, if you wanted to put in some corn as well, you could add that in now. So totally up to you what mix-ins you want or what toppings you want. So I'm actually going to add fresh toppings to mine today, but this is so flexible. Just throw in whatever you have on hand and whatever you like, or top it with your favorite breakfast toppings. It is smelling so, so good. Mm -mm. So now that my mixture is nicely thickened, or not too thick, I actually prefer mine a little bit runny, I'm going to take about a quarter of this mixture because it will serve about four people. So depending on how many toppings you're going to put on there, it will easily serve two to four people. So I'm also going to top this with some sweet corn. So this is just some fresh corn that I'm putting on top. And I've also got some steamed broccoli that I'm putting on top as well. So again, you could just mix this through or use it as toppings like I'm doing today. And I've just got some freshly cut cherry tomatoes that I'm putting on top as well. And I just happen to have some black beans that I cooked up yesterday. And I'll put some of those on there too. And this is ready to eat breakfast, lunch or dinner, whichever you prefer. This is great at any time of the day. So I will give this a taste test. Mmm. Oh yes. I will definitely be having this for breakfast, lunch and dinner today. Mmm. That is so full of flavour. So fresh and delicious. Easy to make. And those textures are just fantastic. Give this a try and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your feedback. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do. I put out two new recipes each and every week and I look forward to seeing you for the next one. Bye for now. Mm.